Hey guys, what a blend here with another crazy card trick tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you guys a card trick that will blow your mind. So make sure to, if you like card tricks, subscribe and like and do all the stuff so people could watch my videos and um, spread the love. So here uh, we're gonna use a deck of cards, the, uh, the three piggy deck. Three piggy deck. Th thank you, um, Mr. Perez, for sending me that hot deck. P.O. Box link below. Uh, so here we're going to do a trick. But you know, oftentimes we always focus on the card that's picked. We don't give a shit about the cards that aren't picked. But you know what? Uh, not today. Piggy's not going to roll like that. Uh, so sir, do me a favor. I'm going to spread these cards. Uh, touch whichever card you want. Let's say the spectator touches this one. So this is a card you picked. In this case, it's the uh, King of Clubs. But you know what? I'm not going to give that card the glory because you picked the King of Clubs. You didn't pick the Four of Diamonds. Because you picked the King of Clubs, you didn't pick the Jack of Spades, even though they were right there. You could have touched them, but you didn't because you are a piece of anemic shit. But you know what? I'm tired of not giving these cards credit. I'm sick and tired of that. So today I'm going to give them credit because believe it or not, even though you could have touched any card, you didn't touch the Jack of Spades or the Four of Diamonds. And before we started, I wrote a little bit of a prediction down. A little bit of a prediction down. Let's, uh, let's get the lights off here. And it says, uh, oh, that's, that's not it. Um, that's not it. I wrote a prediction down here that says, don't forget the Jack of Spades and the Four of Diamonds. Jack of Spades and the Four of Diamonds. Don't forget the Jack of Spades. I, I can't show you they're linked. Oh, wait, they are linked. See right there, they're linked. They're linked. There's a hole in one of them. There's a hole in one of them. Simon Lavelle. It's a Simon Lavelle joke. I'm not original. I'm not that good. Oh, fucking. Oh, the, the trick. You want to know the trick. Uh, so you have a prediction written down. Um, you have a prediction written down. It says, uh, don't forget the Jack of Spades and the Four of Diamonds. Fucking focus! Jack of Spades and Four of Diamonds. That goes uh, wherever it is that you want. Uh, and then you need the Four and the Jack. Uh, one of them on the bottom and one of them on the top. Why? Because you're going to do one of the favorite moves of this channel. The Prophecy Control. That's right. The Bill Simon Prophecy Move. It's a wonderful move. It's um, sometimes overdone. But in this case, I think it's done uh, just... just Perfectly, it's like that little bit of salt that you add to your uh, your eggs um, when you're eating them with uh, um, a Rottweiler. You know, you add a little bit of salt, and then it just brings up the flavors of the meat. Uh, so this is that. This is that. Uh, so here, you're gonna have a card picked, and you're gonna talk about the card that is uh, the cards that are not picked, and how oftentimes we just forget about those cards. You know, we focus too much on the card that is picked. In this case, we have the spectator pick a card. And here we're going to do the mechanics of the Bill Simon Prophecy move. Uh, so what we're, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to outjog the cards towards the spectator. And we're going to turn our right hand over just like this. This is a double back card. I just pranked myself. So we're going to turn our right hand over and use our thumb to grab that card and turn the hand back over. You see that? So what that's going to do is that that's going to draw the eyes to the five of spades which is gonna be great because you're gonna to need to put this half right on top, simulating supposedly turning over that five of clubs. However, what you've done is you have secretly cut the deck without the spectator knowing. Even if the spectator were to know, they wouldn't realize it because they're fucking retarded. So here, one more time, you have the card picked, you have it out jogged. It's a very easy move, you don't make it a move. You're literally just gonna grab the card with your thumb and as you turn it over, you're gonna put this half on top, and that's it. That's that's it. No need to stretch this video out to 10 minutes to get more ads. That's that's pretty much a trick because now you spread through and you say, look, you picked the Ace of Hearts, but you didn't pick the Four of Diamonds. You picked the Ace of Hearts, but you didn't pick the Jack of Clubs. So wait, we're just gonna give the Ace of Hearts all the glory? No, fuck the Ace of Hearts. You didn't pick these cards, and you didn't know that you were gonna not pick these cards. But you know what? Before we started, and you reach in and you show your prediction, um, 
fucking. And your prediction says, don't forget the Jack of Spades and the Four of Diamonds, thus matching um, the card. And if they tell you, hey, but what about the Ace of Hearts? Then you go, uh, that's, that's not the point of the premise. The point of the premise is the, uh, that you didn't. Um, you're, a f- you're asking too many f- fucking questions. So that's the trick, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, perform it. It's a great one. Um, you make sure to subscribe and uh, like and do all the stuff so that I could cheat the YouTube system and one day get my uh, dream of becoming a YouTube megastar so that I too could appear on YouTube Rewind throwing a deck of cards at a wall. Uh, while secretly wanting to end it all. I'm going to go figure out different ways to uh, use oil-based lubricants. When I see you again 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 Oh, shit. Oh, shit.